For the sixth year running, South Sudan, Syria and Somalia are at the bottom of Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index. The report says conflict and corruption create a vicious cycle. Having weak and corrupt uh, police and defence sectors, including also here uh, other law enforcement organisations or institutions such as the courts or the judiciary itself, um, it is very unlikely that we will be able to, um, to tackle uh, organised crime or yeah, the, the, the effects of organised crime and, and uh, terrorism. The report says Russia's invasion of Ukraine last February exemplifies the threat that corruption poses for global security. The authors say Russian oligarchs have amassed fortunes by pledging loyalty to President Vladimir Putin, who operates with impunity in the absence of any checks on power. Transparency International says perceived corruption worsened in Brazil under former President Jair Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro's supporters attacked the parliament, Supreme Court and presidential palace following his election loss in January. It is much easier for corruption to occur when these checks and balances are weaker. That's why one of our main recommendations uh, this year and also in the past has been to really focus on establishing very clear uh, separation of powers uh, across the, you know, the, the, the judiciary, the, the legislature and the executive whenever we have those three branches of power. The index ranks 180 countries by the perceived level of corruption, using data from 13 external sources, including the World Bank. Denmark, Finland and Norway top the index. But several European countries are at historic lows, including Britain, which has slipped 10 places in the past five years following a series of political scandals. Some African nations have made significant progress, including Angola, Ivory Coast, Ethiopia and Senegal. Seven of the 24 countries that we see improving uh, are actually in Africa. So this is one of the regions that is stuck at the bottom of the index but where we also see um, progress happening. Transparency International said governments must do more to tackle corruption by reinforcing checks and balances on power and upholding rights to information. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.